Arts Works for the opening of a new permanent exhibition called Beyond Perception, which is all about revealing the amazing world of science and technology in a new immersive way. And the best thing about it, it's been co-curated by teenagers for teenagers. It's a lot of our input. They've come to us with like, things that they thought they would like and we've agreed or disagreed. I reckon the best bit is uh, the, this whole exhibition. It's just amazing. So we got them in once a month to tell us if they liked our things or if they didn't like our things. They like open-ended things which they can figure out a challenge in them, themselves. Um, they really didn't like things which are so straightforward or sort of babyish, you know. It's inquiry driven. You explore it with your own goals in mind. It's intriguing, it's hands-on, it's social. You discuss it with your friends. You post it on social media. The exhibition has been two years in the making with the Victorian government contributing $3.75 million. And its focus is on hidden science, everything from gravitational waves to invisible light to synchrotrons. So we're exploring the unseen aspects of physics. So we're looking into waveforms and energy forms and forces that you can't easily see. So as you explore gravitational waves, you create your own black holes, crash them into each other and send out bursts of gravity. Uh, as you're exploring turbulence, you can move physical objects around, you can blow particles through complex patterns, you can move digital uh, objects around, you can look at the flow model through computers. So we've been having a long-term project on the Tasmanian tiger and we've been wanting to look inside their body, to look at their skeleton, to look at things like the way that they grow, the way that they become very dog-like or dingo-like. One of the great things about this is that, not just for Victoria, but this can be a world first in a way to actually engage young adults in STEM. It's just very exciting and you feel very proud when you see the final exhibit that you've put input into. Uh, and it, it just makes you proud of yourself. Authorised by Victorian Government, One Treasury Place, Melbourne.